What's up guys and welcome back to another edition of the Outdoor Heritage. This episode brought to you by STS Construction. Hey. And Crosswalk Church. And you're in North Carolina, also Fedbull, North Carolina, because we're now multi campuses. One church, multi campuses. That's not what I'm here to talk about, though. I am here to tell you how to save more money. If you enjoyed the cooler rendition, edition, whatever, if you enjoyed that, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to save money when you're renovating a boat or you're renovating Carolina Skiff J-Series. All right, players, it's getting ready to rain. Now, the other day I was out here wiring the boat and you're gonna see all those videos, but I had to take a break on the wiring. You see it right there? had uh i gotta get my switch wired in i gotta get the fuse box wired in gotta get the pump wired in we're gonna do all of that and then we're gonna go up in the box and i'll show you the motor before i do that i want to show you rub rail j series say that with me carolina skiff rub rail j series now there's one uh, marine place online one place i found one place i had to go back to when we used to have chat boards remember that that's before we had youtube and could watch everybody else do it had to go on chat boards and figure out where was that one place i went and did it it's a marine place kind of i don't know you have the integrity to go find it you know what i'm talking about uh, went online, found it. It's something like $5 a foot, a linear foot. That means to do my boat, it was going to cost me $230 for a rub rail. What? Come on, guys. They don't make the J-Series anymore. They're not making it. And it's hard to find that L-type rub rail. So you know what? I didn't quit. I figured out and found a formula to succeed on this and I want to show you what I bought all right let's stand back let's admire that how good does that little black strip right there how good does that look look how good that is on it's tight but I'm pulling I'm pulling I'm pulling you can push it a little bit in my move um, Got some glue right there because uh, it's not perfect for this boat. And you may have to glue it in places and pray to the good Lord that you never have to take it off. Now, this is where this was dented. And guys, I'll be honest with you. I did not fiberglass that back out. That was the spot I missed. So I just put the rub rail down there on the bottom. It's not perfect. If it was perfect, you all would pay at least fourteen thousand dollars for this boat but that rub rail is on we had to do the same thing at the front because if you go back and watch my videos we had to rebuild this front right here and that was a holy nightmare so you can see i can pull it down a little bit and if i can pull it down i'll put glue on it and that's what we've got right there just some glue up in there to hold it on the front so that it does look good now is that gonna pull down no i got force on it it ain't going anywhere and if it does i'll just get it and re-glue it you know what i'm talking about but that is all the way around guys all the way around on the skiff let me tell you what this piece is and i'll show you show it to you in detail looking hot hot okay game bangers this is the magic piece now i couldn't find this anywhere this is you see this my thumb 
almost as wide as my thumb it's three quarters going this way you see this to the top to the bottom is three quarters of an inch if you are remodeling a carolina skiff j series and you want to do like i did you're going to need at least three quarter inch to go on there see how it covers that lip it's on that lip and guys i gotta tell you something it's on there tight but that is a booger to get on three quarters right there now the inside this is the inside and i believe it is one eighth inch inside and it is easy to go on one eight three quarters and you just basically stick it on there and you can push it with your hand like woohoo look at my hand is hurting uh you can see it red right there or you can take a rubber mallet let me find my rubber mallet there it is you can take this rubber mallet and you can just slightly line up line it up and then you just tap it on there you ain't got to beat it you don't want to bust your boat you don't want to break the seal on your boat and have to go back and remodel it all over again you don't want to do that you want to just lightly tap it on there and best to start whichever side now guys my remodeling is not perfect uh i told you on the front right here we had to rebuild this front if you remember i had to drill if you go back and watch i drilled like 20 holes in there we filled it with um with resin after we filled that with resin there was a big chunk out right here we had to rebuild this whole thing up in here ourselves. And I'm not a professional at this. So heck, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I have fun doing it. So let me talk to you about this little strip right here. First of all, it is September and it's hot. It's still hot. I'm going Saturday, I'm gonna work on uh, where we hunt. I've got a brother-in-law who says he's going to cut everybody's path. Here's to praying that that happens. Um, anyways, where was I? I get sidetracked, ADHD, you know how it is. This little strip right here, I had to order it on eBay. I found it on eBay, uh, one of the sellers, three quarter trim molding marine molding you can use it on marine you can use it on a car you can use it on a motorcycle you can use it on a four-wheeler you can use it on whatever the heck you want to use it on it's it's your piece use it how you want it 42 dollars i ordered um 50 feet and you're going to need every bit of that uh on the skiff j14 now if you got a j16 you're still going to need 50 feet because you got 32 up and then you're going to have about five to six feet wide and that's going to be about 42 you're not going to have much left over that's all i had left over almost looks like i'm holding a snake the boss would think i've got a snake out here wouldn't that be cool not really um 42 dollars that's what i paid for this free shipping a lot better than two hundred and twenty nine dollars i think it was or two hundred and that's probably wasn't even with tax i'd have been hit with tax and would have paid two hundred and forty dollars now i'm two hundred dollars to the good that means once i did my cooler like that and saved four hundred dollars did my little metal piece down here i had left over from my camper because of my good friend jay day he knows who he is um, save me some money on that guys it's not costing me that much and guess what looking at building me a truck camper gonna do it don't tell the boss actually doing a church remodel and got some two befores we're almost ready to start on that thing right what but we got to get out and use the boat got a new motor we're going to show you that so stay tuned for that that episode. We're going to unbox it. We're all giddy. We're so excited. 
excited for you to see that uh, motor. We're excited to get that motor on this boat. And guys, uh, I'll show you this and then close you out. You know what? Looks pretty daggum good. New trailer down there, AK McCallum. Oh, you know what? I want to complain on something. Not AK McCallum, but I want to complain on the state of North Carolina and tell you how big of a ripoff they are. Let me um, let me just show you the skiff there. We're going to get a wired motor on, got the steering wheel coming, saved enough, went ahead and just got a new steering wheel. I'm not going to use what the old one was. Uh, we got a nice one to go on there. And then we're going to get the cooler in there. My little... I did have some problems here, guys. They did not want to hold in there. That one right there, there, ah, there, gave me a little problem. We're gonna get the cooler in there, get it latched down. That'll be where the spare seat. Then uh, we're gonna put some padding up there and you'll be able to sit there, but it no matter, whatever. And then we're gonna start on the floor. Once we get the wiring done, we'll start on the floor, get the floor in, motor on, and we're going to be ready to go. Uh, so, uh, there you have it. You know what? Went over there, got my trailer in North Carolina, got my trailer re-registered so I can have it to put my four-wheeler on when I go hunting this year, have my four-wheeler, everything's ready, just got my truck tags. Went and bought a brand new trailer for my boat, A.K. McCallum and Company, Vietnam, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, great service, and I enjoyed talking with the uh, guy over there uh, who hooked me up with the trailer. Do you know how sorry the state of North Carolina is? I want to tell you how sorry. I went and registered that, paid god awful fortune because it was um, it was out of date. Paid like seventy dollars. They charged me a late fee, paid $70, paid my taxes, paid everything on it. They sent me tags only good for November the 21st. Then I go register my boat trailer. Where's it at? Down here. Woohoo! I go register that joker. It's only good to October 2021. I'm literally going to have to repay the taxes and get new tags sent in the mail. Hey, North Carolina, you're a ripoff, and you're a bunch of dummies. You could have charged, went ahead and charged me and gave me the tag. Bunch of dummies, if I've ever seen it. Hey, Governor, you hear me talking to you. Change your policies. That is not common sense. I just bought the trailer. I didn't want it for three months. I wanted it for a blasted year. Hey, that's enough complaining. I got to go in and eat, and it's getting ready to rain anyways. Can you see that? North Carolina storm. How about go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I just saved you some money. We saved you some money on two episodes, so you better, you better believe. And then I'm going to show you the outboard and show you the best place to get an outboard and get it online and do it yourself. What? Like, comment, and subscribe. And, guys, I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in, and we got to get out and go do some fishing and hunting. <laughs>